So in this work example, uh, we're going to look at uh, two different calculations. One of them's using the greater circle distance um, form of calculation, and the other one's looking at the distance of the parallel lines of latitude. Um, there's a separate video on parallel lines of latitude calculations, but the difference with each of those calculations is which radius to use. So if we're looking at the greater circle distance in a question, um, our lines are generally on the longitude, so we you have to always use the um, radius of Earth, which is 6,400 kilometres. If we're using parallel lines of latitude that's not on the equator, we end up um, using the smaller radius because we end up being on the radius of the smaller circle, either north or south, so we can't use 6,400. But we'll have a look at this work solution and um, hopefully you'll be able to see when and where you use 6,400 for radius or the, a different answer. Okay, an aircraft flies from Bansdale in this location and then goes due north to Grenfell in this location. How far is this? And it says great circle distance. Like I've already explained to you, um, we need to label north, south, east, west, and the center of the circle. This really helps us with drawing. And if we put in our equator, turn this into a 3D diagram, this helps helps us a lot. Okay, so let's put in our first location where we are. So 38 degrees south, so if we go to 38 degrees south, let's just, for example, put this here, 38 degrees south, over here is also 38 degrees south. All right, let's put in the center of the circle down the bottom, and let's draw this in as our 3D diagram. There we go, so we're now down at 38 degrees south. Now let's place in our longitude, so in this first location we've got 148 degrees east. So if the prime meridian was on this side, let's just estimate that over here is 148 degrees east. So let's just draw that in. 148 degrees east. So our first location, let's put it in red, is right here. That's that first location we've been given. All right, now an aircraft flies from this location and it flies due north to 34 degrees south. So let's place in 34 degrees, say approximately here, 34 degrees south, 34 degrees south, center circle, and let's place this in. All right. So there's R34 degrees south. So what we're doing is we are flying from this point up to this green point here. Now the question's told us the greater circle distance used. Because we're on the lines of longitude, we need to use um, the Earth's radius. So we're not taking it from this point from there to there, we're taking it from actually from this point up that way. So the difference between these two points is 4 degrees. So if we were to pen in there to there, that's 4 degrees. So using our calculations for part 8, we can work out the arc length by placing the information in times our radius is 6,400 because you're using the greater circle, times our degrees of 4 over 180. This equals 447 kilometers. There we go, so that's part A. Okay, part B. It fly, then flies due west from this location to 141 degrees east. How far is it from Grenfell to Renmar? So the distance along the parallel lines. So we're at this location and it's telling us that we're going to fly around to 
141 degrees east. So let's just draw in 141 degrees east. That's the uh, prime meridian line. That means we're going back towards zero, so it would be on this side. So let's just draw that in there. All right, let's label that 141 degrees east. And that is our new location right there on this green line. So that, that line of latitude. Now, because we're uh, calculating on this brand new green circle, this ha actually has a smaller radius than that of the big circle. So we can't use the radius of 6,400 of what Earth is. So let's just get rid of this here, clean that up. All right. So what, what we're actually finding out in the question is we want... There's our, sec there's our arc length there. So on the curve, there we go. That's the arc length there, so from this point to this point. The difference of these two locations is seven degrees, so we can place the seven degrees in there. Now we need to know the radius of this green circle, which is smaller. So we've got to use the information um, that's been given and use angle of elevation and depression. So let's just draw in what the right angle would look like. So there's our triangle up here, right angles there. Now this degrees here, if we look at that, if that was a, a radius of the equator, angle of depression all the way down here is 34 degrees, because we're 34 degrees south. So that means in there is 34 degrees of angle of elevation. We know that from here to here is the radius of the big circle. So let's just draw this over here. Uh, let's draw our triangle out to part B. We've got our right angle triangle. We, as we just found out, we've got 34 degrees. From here to here, that's the, the radius of the big circle. So our hypotenuse is 6,400 um, kilometres. And what we want to find is we want to find the base for our brand new radius of this green, the green circle. So Sokar Toa, we've got adjacent and we've got hypotenuse. We'll be using cos. So cos 34 degrees equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Uh, x would then equal 5305.84. So that answer there is the distance of the radius of this green circle. So remember a radius is anywhere from the centre of the circle out, so it's from here to there, or from there to there, there to there, it's the perception of this drawing. We need to use that information now to work out the arc length of this. So let's calculate that. So we have pi times our radius times our angle over 180. So pi times our answer, which was 5305.84, times our degrees, which is 7, over 180. This would calculate to be 7, 000, uh, sorry, 781.91 kilometres. So that's the answer to part B. So from there to there is 781.91 kilometres. Okay, part C is what is the total distance flown? So the to to total distance flown is this answer, because we've flown from here to there, and then this answer added together, because then we flew from there to there. So if we add those two answers together, I'll just write that in here, part C, 1,228.91 kilometres. So here's an example uh, that we've just gone through that we've used greater circle distance. So whenever we're using the greater circle distance, we use Earth's radius at 6,400. And we've also used an example of parallel um, distance around the parallel latitude. So for example, around that green line there, as you can see, we can't use 6,400 because we're on a smaller circle. So whenever we're on a vertical 
line, we use Earth's radius is 6,400. On the horizontal line, we use, have to calculate the distance of the radius. Um, I hope you uh, got some good information out of this flip. Thank you.